Hello hackers! Welcome to the new video where we are going to hack stored XSS into HTML context with nothing encoded. This lab contains a stored cross-site scripting vulnerability and the comment functionality. So we are going to base our test in the comment functionality and try to find the vulnerability. And to solve the lab, all what we have to do is to send XSS attack contains alert function. So if you're not very familiar about what is the alert function and how it works, please watch the first video of XSS Siri. Before moving forward guys, I'm not going to use the Perpsuit software as a tool, but I'm going to use Inspector tool. So if you don't know how to open this window, all what you have to do is to click right and then go to inspect. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's start. And here we go guys. So as we can recognize from this website, that is a block website. So let me scroll and check the website. And as you can see, we have a several of blogs. So let me check one of them. So let's take this one as an example, black market dealings. Let me view the post and here we go. Now let me scroll and see what I have over here. So I have some information about the writer and the creating date. Let me scroll down and see. And we have the comment section. So basically this is going to be our focus the comment section. But before testing these inputs, let me just click right. Let's go to inspect. Now I'm going to focus on the comment functionality. So let me check one of the comments. And here we go. Now you can see we have the comment as h1 and then we have p tags in here. And as you can see, we have a section class equal to comment. And let me see what I have. So we have the p tag contains the name of the person who wrote the comment and I think the date of creating the comment. And then we have another p tag which contains the comment itself. So let me try to add a new comment in here and let me see what's going to happen. So let me say I like this blog. And now in the name I'm going to say popo and in the email, I'm going to say popo at hack.com. And in the website, I don't have one, so I'm not going to use it. Let me send the comment. And here we go. Now he says, thank you for your comment. Your comment has been submitted. So let me back to the blog. And here we go. And now let me check the comment. And as you can see, I added successfully a comment, so I don't need to log in as a user or something. And this is makes the test easier for me. So let me check what I got in here. So as my first impression, we can recognize that my focus is going to be on the name, which is the popo, and then on the comment itself. So I'm not going to focus on the email or the website if they are vulnerable or not. So I'm going to make the next test, base it on the comment input and the name input, and I'm going to pollute them. So let me say h1 and let me close the tag h1 and let me say I like it in here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in the name and I'm going to change the name to popo again. So let me say popo at hack.com as an email. So now maybe you're asking why I'm using h1 as a tag. As you can see the comment, it's inside the p tag. If I'm going to use any other tag, so I'm not going to see the difference in the design. And sometimes the design help you to discover easier the changes in the code. So you don't really need to check the HTML code line by line. So now let me pause the comment. Now let me back to blog and let me check. And here we go guys. Now you can see why h1 helped me a lot. Yes, you can see in the name nothing changed it, which means in the name input it took it as it is, converted to the string without doing anything. But in the comment section you can see even the design it changed it, which means it took the comment as itself without making any filter or without making any change. So this is absolutely means 
that this input is vulnerable to the XSS attack. So let me check and show you it in the code source. And as you can see guys in here and make comparison between the first comment and the second comment that my text is between the P tags, but in this time, it's not between the p tags as you can see the p tags are empty and it created a new line and add the h1 tag so which means if i'm going to write any html code it's not going to be in p tag but it's going to create a new line for it so now i'm going to make my attack so let's say script let me close the script in here and let me say alert I'm going to send it as a string, so I'm using double quote, and let me say Popo hacked you. And now I'm going to add the name, let me say Popo hack, and in the email I'm going to use the same, so Popo at hack.com, and let me post. And here we go guys, now you can see we solved it successfully the lab, but let's check again. Let's go to the blog. And here we go guys, now you can see, I'm able to see the alert function. So Popo hacked you. So let's check one more time the comment section. But first let's see that we don't able to see any comment in here. And so let me see in here. And as you can see we have this p tag. But in this time we added the script between the p tag. And this is absolutely vulnerable. And this is can tell us that this input is very, very sensitive to XSS attack. So guys, if you like it, my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. And if you have any feedback or any question, please put it in the comment below and stay tuned to the next videos.